Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss our future videos. Write a T-SQL query to identify the top 10 customers in terms of total spending over the past year. We have a customer table with columns for customer ID, purchase date, and purchase amount. Here is the SQL query for this question. This query first filters the data to include purchases only from the past year using dated function. Then, it groups the data by customer ID and calculates the total spend for each customer using some function. Finally, it orders the results by total spend in descending order and limits the output to the top 10 customers using limit. I used dated to subtract one year from the current date and compared the purchase date with this calculated date. I used the sum function on the purchase amount column, grouped by customer ID. I used the order by clause with total spend in descending order to rank the customers by their spending. Finally, I used the limit clause to restrict the output to the top 10 customers. Even if your query is technically correct, explain your thought process and reasoning clearly. Show the interviewer you understand the logic behind your approach. Don't be afraid to ask clarifying questions if you're unsure about the data or the desired outcome. Let's move on to the next question. Write a SQL query to find the average order amount. We have a table named order details containing information about orders and their corresponding amounts. We want to calculate the average order amount. Here is the SQL query for this question. To find the average order amount, I use the AVG function in SQL, which calculates the average of a set of values. Since the amount column might contain decimal values, I cast it to decimal, 10, 2, to ensure accuracy up to two decimal places. This query aggregates all the amounts in the order details table and calculates their average. In this case, the result is $75, indicating that the average order amount is $75. Don't memorize, understand, while remembering common queries can be helpful, focus on understanding the underlying concepts and how to adapt them to different scenarios. Let's proceed with another question. Write a SQL query to find the total sales revenue for each month in the year 2023. We have a table named sales containing information about sales transactions, including the sale amount and the transaction date. We want to calculate the total sales revenue for each month in the year 2023. Here is the SQL query for this question. To calculate the total sales revenue for each month in 2023, I used the year and month functions to extract the year and month from the transaction date column. Then, I filtered the data to include only transactions from the year 2023 using the WHERE clause. Next. I used the sum function to calculate the total revenue for each month. Finally, I grouped the results by year and month using the group by clause and sorted the output in chronological order. The result shows the total revenue for each month in the year 2023. Solve problems step by step, break down the interview question into smaller, manageable steps. Identify what data you need, how to filter it, how to aggregate it, and how to order the results. Don't try to write the entire query at once. Focus on building it step by step, testing each part as you go. Let's proceed with another question. Write a SQL query to calculate the running total of sales amounts. We have a table named sales containing information about sales transactions, including the sale amount and the transaction date. We want to calculate the running total of sales amounts. Here is the SQL query for this question. The query calculates the running total of sales amounts using the sum function combined with the over clause. The SUM function aggregates the amount column, and the over clause specifies the order in which the rows are processed. In this case, by transaction date. This results in a running total of sales amounts, where each row shows the cumulative sum of all sales amounts up to that point. Let's explore another question. 
Write a SQL query to find the customers who have made more than three purchases. We have a table named purchases containing information about customer purchases, including the customer ID and purchase details. We want to identify the customers who have made more than three purchases. Here is the SQL query for this question. To find the customers who have made more than three purchases, I use the group by clause to group the purchases by customer ID. Then, I applied the having clause to filter the groups, selecting only those with a count of purchases greater than three. This query effectively identifies the customers meeting the criteria. In this case, the result is cust001, indicating that this customer has made more than three purchases. Let's proceed with another question. Write a SQL query to retrieve the latest order date for each customer. We have a table named orders containing information about orders placed by customers, including the customer ID and order dates. We want to find the latest order date for each customer. Here is the SQL query for this question. To retrieve the latest order date for each customer, I use the group by clause to group the orders by customer ID. Then, I applied the max function to find the maximum, latest, order date within each group. This query effectively identifies the latest order date for each customer. In this case, the result shows the customer ID along with their respective latest order dates. Let's proceed with another question. Write a SQL query to calculate the total number of orders placed by each customer. We have a table named orders containing information about orders placed by customers, including the customer ID and order details. We want to calculate the total number of orders placed by each customer. Here is the SQL query for this question. To calculate the total number of orders placed by each customer, I use the group by clause to group the orders by customer ID. Then. I applied the count function to count the number of orders, order ID, within each group. This query effectively identifies the total number of orders placed by each customer. In this case, the result shows the customer ID along with the total number of orders placed by them. Let's proceed with another question. Write a SQL query to find the top performing products based on order count. We have a table named order details containing information about products ordered, including the product ID and order details. We want to identify the top performing products based on the number of orders they appear in. Here is the SQL query for this question. To find the top performing products based on order count, I use the group by clause to group the orders by product ID. Then, I applied the count function to count the number of orders, order ID, for each product. Finally, I sorted the results in descending order of order count using the order by clause. This query effectively identifies the top performing products based on the number of orders they appear in. In this case, the result shows the product ID along with the order count, indicating the top performing products. And that's it for today's video. I hope this helps you in your preparation for your SQL interview. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, keep practicing these concepts and queries. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.